you could see him. He ain't up to no good. Started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got one little fight. My mom got scared. Oh, God. Hello, friends. My name is Brandon Dayton. I am your humble narrator, and welcome to Iron Tides. A Viking-based uh, strategy, survival, kind of crafting, maybe, game. Uh, also, roguelike. Yeah, where you're characters die and you're able to replace them with additional characters who have lots and lots of skills it's really really awesome and uh it succeeded on its kickstarter which i'm super super excited for obviously looks pretty good we'll jump right into it it's quite a cool game as you might be able to tell by the uh the <laughs> save file name that i gave and we'll go ahead and launch it go ahead and launch your fleet lies shattered after na last night's unearthly storm but despite the dire circumstances, I still remember the mission. A mad scourge warlord named Jahagal dwells in these waters. He's been a thorn in my side for far too long. Jahagal keeps a fortress near the eastern edge of this island chain. That's likely where we'll find him. Our forces are few, but we must persevere. His warships will be on the hunt, looking for survivors of the storm. Destroy any that get in your way. So. The survival aspect comes in because every time you move in the water, you will consume some stamina. You can go to uh, places like these shipwrecks or some fortresses and battle for some loot, like this silverware, which uh, will give you hack silver. And then you also get glory when you fight or uh, lose glory when you do something naughty. It's basically uh, to get the blessings of the gods, which isn't really implemented in this beta quite yet. Um, but you can recover the stamina with, uh, food and casks of mead and things like that, which will be found through the random events. But the battling is the really delicious part of this game, so we'll start moving around. We'll check out these shipwrecks. Uh, scattered bits of hack silver. We'll, we'll offer it to the gods. I don't really need hack silver that bad. However, I do need fish, so I'm gonna take the fish. Sorry, gods. Maybe next time. And uh, you can see over here that there is a battle, so that means a ship is waiting for us just there. That island has nothing on it, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. But that I need to go to, so we'll cut down this way. Obviously that stamina goes pretty quick. Uh, we're at 72 out of 100 now. And here uh, we see a pirate ship, so there's a couple guys who are going to be throwing bombs and shit like that, and then there's a big big dude who's dual wielding he's got a headband so you know he's a badass there are four classes that i have right now vanguard berserker hunter valkyrie valkyrie is kind of the rogue she can leap behind enemy lines uh can also heal allies and she has a really really nice uh damaging move the berserker basically uh destroys shield he can also throw axes and he has a berserk swing which attacks one enemy and then the enemy to the left and the right of it uh, doing full damage to all of them, which is really fucking insane if you can get uh, enemies set up that way. Hunter, uh, basically a healer and range class. You can mark enemies and increase accuracy against them. And also got the the awesome kill shot, but it costs three fury points, as is de designated on the bottom here. And um, yeah, that will basically end your end your turn completely for the hunter. Um, then you've got the Vanguard, who's kind of the leader. He's got a recover for himself, a command, which can give a fury point to an ally, and then the final strike, which uh, basically just does nice big damage like the uh, triumphant strike for the Valkyrie. So we'll go ahead and move up here, try and leap next to this fellow. Hello, fellow! And smack him. Smack him real good. Okay, so now the Valkyrie is out of fury points and out of moves. Uh, each Viking can move two spaces during a turn, but that's not going to, uh, not gonna uh, come into too much play because we're, oh shit, I missed. Okay, I thought I was gonna kill that guy. I was gonna say we're gonna kill that guy, but, uh, we didn't. We didn't at all, so I'm gonna go ahead and move my vanguard up. He's gonna be able to give a commanding shout to this hunter. And then we'll be able to uh, take a second shot. We cannot use the quick shot again this turn. Uh, that would be a really easy way. You'd get three attacks per turn. But no, it's grayed out. So we're going to have to go with the kill shot, which should do well because that guy is wounded. And boom, down he goes. Now my character has an extra fury from killing an enemy. Uh, so I could try and mark something with the hunter's mark, but everything's out of range. So that's not going to matter too much. 
And uh, that is everybody's move, so we'll click over there and end the turn. Wow, I got bombed by that fucking guy. And there's a knife throw. Not good. My Valkyrie's uh, looking pretty shit already. I'll go ahead and try and remedy. There you go, little heal. And the heals can also crit, which is uh, a super nice thing. I'm gonna leap and get over here to relative safety. And then I'll triumph and strike. Boom! And hopefully uh, I can power this guy up again with command, and then we'll get the kill shot off on him. I think that's how it's gonna work. Let's 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 keep fingers crossed. Oh yeah, 99% chance to hit. I do really like that it shows the chance to hit. Um, reminds me a lot of uh, Final Fantasy Advance Tactics. I think that's what it's called. But I had a lot of fun with that game when I was younger, so I'm glad to see it back. I critted with that axe throw and fucking took that guy down, no problem. My vanguard is not doing very much work here, but that is relatively okay. Um, I don't know if I want to move too close to that guy, so I'm just going to end the turn now. And he comes over here anyways and fucking wallops my guy. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try and get her out of here. Save yourself! And maybe get some healing. Just in case. Alright, so... Now I'm going to, uh... We can do Shield Shatter, we can do Berserk Swing. I think Berserk Swing's the right thing to do because it increases accuracy and Shield Shatter reduces accuracy. So we'll try that out. Boom. Not, not too terrible damage on that. And, uh, unfortunately my Vanguard is not able to get all the way over there this turn. Um, can I command for this guy? Yeah. We'll do that. I'll get the kill shot on this. Not enough to take him down, but that's okay. Should be able to do it in the next turn. And it is really good to get the shielded guys up front. Uh, the Vanguard and Berserker, obviously, extremely good with the shield. Valkyrie does have a shield, but doesn't seem to block as often, which is why I designated this kind of a rogue class. Finally, my Vanguard's gonna get to attack, and, uh, we'll do the, the final strike. Yes. How fitting. Ha ha. So we took the, uh, the pirate captain down. I'm gonna go ahead and get some, uh, glory towards leveling up, which does increase the attack and HP of all your Vikings. You can also find more Vikings. The other Vikings have uh, different moves and things like that, which I think is pretty cool. They got some hacks over, some gold jewelry, and some arms and armor. Obviously inferior to Viking weaponry, but I take. I like. And uh, here's another shipwreck, so we're gonna go cruise over this way. And there's some more fish over here, which I will take, because that's, that's my MO. I'm sorry, okay? The gods probably do want it, but you know, I, I, I ain't got time. I ain't got time for that. All right, so here is a rival Viking crew, different from the pirates that we just fought. And uh, I'll go ahead and place my vanguard and berserker on that side, since uh, these guys are just a little bit closer. And we'll move the Valkyrie up. I don't think I'm going to be able to uh, get anywhere. Oh, I could leap over there. All right. Leap! Wonderful, and now we can do the triumphant strike boom take that guy right down Get some damage on that guy as well, and uh, we might be able to get the kill shot. I like the kill shot Hmm not bad damage on that and Let's see if an axe throw will do him Yes nailed nailed So those are all my characters turns Trying to do it uh, a little bit faster than last time, now that I don't have to explain everything every single time. But uh, I think these characters with spears are able to attack two spaces away, which is a pretty cool thing. Uh, I'll go ahead and toss a heal to my Valkyrie, and then I will command and recover that fury point. Let's see if we can get some final blow. Yeah! And this guy's now out of, uh, <clears throat> out of fury, so he can't do his, uh, regular-ass slash attack. But that's relatively fine. I think my, uh, my hunter's gonna be able to take that guy down, sure enough. And, uh, we'll move the Valkyrie back here, so I can get behind this guy with the shield. He's not gonna be able to block my attack. Boom! And, uh, I'm not able to do my spear thrust because... The, the Valkyrie's out of fury now. That's okay. 
I will try and do the shield shatter to this fellow. Obviously, 58% is not great, but uh, I'll take the swing. He blocks it. No problem. And then uh, I'll use my last fury to just do his regular ass attack. I do want to get over here and take out this bowman because uh, he's probably going to cause a little bit of trouble for me. But nothing to worry about. Not yet. Although, if your characters do get low on health, yeah, it, it can turn really bad because um, they die permanently. And currently, there's not a way to find additional Vikings. So, definitely uh, a, a, a scary prospect <laughs> if you only fight with three Vikings and they expect you to have four. You also need to defeat your enemies extremely quickly because they do come in waves. I got some spices, silver jewelry, hack silver. Nice. The enemies do come in waves, so if you don't defeat them fast enough, um, it can get ugly extremely quickly. We happen upon an old man eating a freshly roasted boar. He offers you half of it for a small price. We could uh, take the offer and give him some hack silver and get a couple food, or we could just kill him and take the food, although the gods will be a little bit mad. I don't think anything is implemented as far as like blessing of the gods go. So I will just uh, kill him and take the food, and and I'm gonna eat the food that I got because we are running kind of low on stamina. Formidable band of mercenaries has captured this old outpost. They demand payment in exchange for letting you live. I don't think so. 300 hack silver. Well, I could just uh, break up some silverware and be done with it, but I ain't gonna do it. Not today. I ain't gonna do it. And I don't think I can leap all the way over there. Yeah. That's unfortunate, but all right, we'll live with it. Nobody can attack this turn. Just move him into position. That guy's gonna take his shot and miss completely, which is really, really nice. And then uh, it seems that they're coming heavily on the bottom, which is not cool. I'm going to throw my ax. Huh. Yeah, suckle. And then, uh, we can get this chick into position behind everybody. I think that would be a wise decision, unless everybody turns around and goes ham on her. We'll see. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, I am able to give her an extra fury point so she can do her attack. Boom! Knock the shit out of that guy. And then, uh, I'll go for the kill shot on this guy who's already wounded. Not quite enough to take him down. But that's okay. I think everybody's moved. Well, well done. Oh, and they got reinforcements immediately. I guess uh, it was pretty heavily armed, as the uh, as the text would have led me to believe. But uh, I was skeptical. That's all right. I'm gonna come over here. Ooh, I tried to knock the piss out of that guy, but it didn't happen. So um, hmm. Maybe I'll just uh, throw an axe over here. And he blocked it. My god. Not good. Not good at all. I'm going to uh, back this Valkyrie up just a little bit. Get some damage on that guy. We'll put a command point on the hunter so I can get that, uh, that kill shot. Oh, I guess I didn't need it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what your name is. And then uh, this guy has a move left, so I'm going to move him back so we can take those guys down. Um... I think this will work. Triumphant Strike. Boom. But I don't have any Fury left, so I can't get another attack on him. Which I really do desperately need it at the moment, but it's gonna be fine. We are getting a little surrounded here, which I don't like, but um... Again, it, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be fine. We're, we're doing so awesome. I can't seem to attack this guy because we are a little too close. So, I'm gonna move this fellow over. We can get the shield chatter. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's the right thing to do. And he did block it. But that's okay. Doing the best that we can with what we're given. Uh, I'm gonna move my Valkyrie up. She can jump across this, which is really, really nice. And I will, uh... I will take out this Bowman. I think we're gonna be able to, uh, smack that dude with my... With my vanguard. Boom. No problem. So... Yeah, the vanguard has a move left, and I did get a fury point, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the command. 
And we can go ahead and try and finish that guy off. Well done. And then uh, I need to face back this way so we can smack one of these guys. I will go for the bowman. Ooh. All right. Now my hunter has uh, many, many moves left. I'll go ahead and fire on the enemy bowman. And yeah, we, we just have a couple of guys left, so I'll split them up. Two on one each way. Whoop! So now they're they're getting uh, pushed around, which I think is pretty nice. We'll go ahead and do that, and then we'll do that. Now he's looking uh, in pretty bad shape. Try and finish him off. There we go. And let's do the... Uh, ooh, not the Berserk Swing, because that is going to attack my Vanguard as well. But I'll Shield Smash, even though that guy doesn't have a shield. And then, uh, yeah, I'll use my regular melee attack to finish him off. Boom. Done and done. Now, I don't know if you want to sail around and get uh, a massive amount of levels before you meet the final boss. It is doable at only level two or three. And uh, you do need the food to keep sailing around and around. So it might be wise to just press forward and get things finished. We'll go ahead and take everything. I got a cask of mead, which is extremely nice. And there are some more ruins here, which I'll check out. And uh, there's another guy with a boar. We get a lot of uh, a lot of glory for killing people, so I think losing a little to to get the boar and feast, feast as a Viking should. It's completely worth it. So we're almost back up to max stamina with the food that I I found. Yeah, I just found it. <laughs> and here's another rival Viking ship, which are a lot easier to take out than the pirates. The pirates fucking throw bombs and all kinds of crazy shit. I don't like it! But... Oh, they, they do have a, a cannon hooked up here, which is not going to be too much fun. But um, I'm going to do my best to take it down as quickly as possible. It does about 20 damage per round, so I would love to see it go down. And uh, we'll see... No problem. No problem. Took that shit right out. And then uh, we'll go ahead and do this guy up as best as possible. And do that. Damn. Well, that's about it for the turn. I was hoping to uh, get the Vanguard to command the Hunter and get some more points back up, but uh, it was not to be. But that's, that's relatively okay. Oh my god. Now I do have the command. I'll get this guy ready again. We'll uh, stab this fellow, move forward, and then triumph and strike on him. And the uh, hunter can use his kill shot. Which was blocked. Damn it. Not fair. It's the bullshit. I don't like it. It's alright. Try and take out the, uh, the rival bowman. And I miss. Which is not good at all. But... It, it be what it be. Oh, and I used my uh, my fury point and gave it to the hunter, so the turn is over for my my vanguard. I want to call him the captain. He's not technically the captain. I just view him that way because he uh, he helps to buff the party. All right, so now we've got this fucking guy, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and heroic strike, other strike, and finish. Damn, he blocked it again. I'll go ahead and try and command. This is uh, not a good situation. <laughs> 54 points uh, hit, which is a massive amount of overkill. But that's all right. It's what I need. It's what I gotta do! And we'll just finish out the Bowmans. No problem. Relatively easy, as long as you take out the cannons. My uh, Hunter and Valkyrie have leveled now. So that's going to be real, real nice. Got a little more arms and armor, silver jewelry. And uh, deep inside the ruins, we found a silver-plated statue. It's too heavy to carry it all the way back. We'll need to hack it apart. It will take some stamina and uh, won't give us that much hack silver. And I think the gods might be mad too, so I'm just going to leave it. I don't know who it's a statue of. So uh, better safe than sorry. I don't really need much hack silver. 
and we're almost to the eastern edge of the map now, so I should be able to find the, uh, the big boss. I think that's his fortress there that just popped up as I moved into position against this guy. So, uh, we'll do the best that we can here and see if I can leap. Yes, I'll leap over here and destroy the fucking cannon. Ooh, and I critted it. Critted it nice and hard. Go ahead and, uh, put some dents on that guy. And Killshot was able to do stuff because he was wounded. Fire on their, uh, hunter. Things are going really nice. Really nice so far. Move my melee guys into position. You can obviously see why the melee guys level a little bit slower. They're, uh, somewhat more cumbersome than the Valkyrie and whatnot. But that's just fine. We're gonna leap over here now. Finish him. Boom! Dead! Fucking dead! Can get some more damage. Nope. That guy blocked it. That's gonna be alright. I will, uh... Hmm. No, I won't. I want to move this guy into position to do his, uh, Berserk Strike, so I'm gonna get the Vanguard out of the way. And we will do the Berserk Swing. Huh! And that does some pretty good damage on both those guys. So, uh, let's try and finish this. That'll do. And, actually, I can give him a Commanding Shout. Because I moved him out of the way, so so nothing's gonna happen. And uh, kill shot's kind of a waste there, but I'll just go ahead and use it. Cause why not? And uh, yeah, in just a couple of rounds, they're already fucking in terrible shape. So I can take this guy out pretty quick. Boop boop. Done and done. And then that guy. Bam. As long as you're uh, <clears throat> in the right frame of mind, it is quite uh, an easy strategy game. I assume this is just like the first level of the campaign, so things are going to get uh, exceedingly more difficult at some point in the future. And we got a couple of casks of mead, which is really nice. There's another fortress over there. I think that's the, uh, the baddies. So let's go check it out. In the hands of a ruthless warlord who's raided the waters near Norhaven for centuries. This won't be an easy fight. So, of course, we'll attack them. We don't sail away like a bunch of sissies. Unless, like, your sticks. Which is a bunch of sissies. <laughs> Come sail away with me! Alright, so we've got the, uh, the big boss man standing back there. You could see him. He ain't up to no good. Started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got one little fight. My mom got scared. Oh, God. Okay, so uh, I'll smack that guy pretty good with my vanguard, and then hopefully this guy can get into position as well. Try the kill shot. Mmm. Fucking kill shot, son. And uh, he did get a fury, but my hunter got a little bit of fury, but he's still out of range, which is super unfortunate. Luckily, you can stand on these little uh, pillar things, although they don't give a bonus to range or anything like that. I thought that would have been a really nice thing. That's something that they do in Final Fantasy Tactics, and it would be pretty cool if it was implemented here, but not yet. Um, I think the game's still in a relatively early version, but I'm so excited to see it come to uh, fruition. It's quite an awesome game. I'm gonna throw an axe at that guy. Boom! And uh, we'll move up just a little more, although he can't do much. And we'll try, try to take him down. There we go. Now we've got, uh, free reign, basically. I'm gonna go ahead and take that guy. We are killing him fucking hard. I'm scared of this fellow. Uh, you can see the next wave's coming in two turns, and I don't think we're gonna get through 135 health that quickly. But, uh, I'll do my best. That is for sure. Now we're taking some, some hits. But not too ugly. And luckily that guy is not advancing quite yet. Oh, he's gonna advance on my on my other fellow. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the remedy again. Try and keep my Valkyrie on her feet. And can I Hunter's Mark that guy? Yes, I can. So I will do that as well. And we'll we'll put a dent in it as best we can. I'm going to throw an axe at that guy. Huh. Very nice. And then come in for the kill, which was not a kill at all. <laughs> I missed horribly. Um, let's jump. 
I'm gonna move this guy up just a little bit as well, and I'll give the commanding shout to that. Use the the big chop on that guy, and then hopefully with the uh, the extra boost from command, my Valkyrie can can take this guy out. Oh, it doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Not quite. Ooh, it did just barely. All right, so everybody's uh, had their turn basically. I kind of want to move this guy away, but I also don't want him to face the wrong way because that does just a little more damage. And uh, now we've got fucking enemies that drop from the ceiling, of course. So I'm quite worried about that. My Valkyrie's not looking in uh, very good shape. Hmm. I could uh, try the kill shot. Might be a good idea. But then I will definitely want to use the uh, command from my vanguard to to get the heal on the Valkyrie. So let's see how that does. Ooh, 54 damage. That's that's real nice. And uh, I need the command so we can get the heal down. And hopefully it crits. Nope, it's a little tiny heal. But that's that's what we got to work with. I'll go ahead and try and take this guy out as best I can. And down he goes! Fuck yeah. I could also rally spirits to uh, try and keep my other guys on their feet, but that is a uh, much shorter range than what the hunter has available to him. So, um, let's see. The vanguard could take a swing at somebody. He could heal himself. I'm gonna go ahead and take the swing. And a really nice crit on that. That'll do nicely. Uh, maybe I can kill this guy. Yes! Yes! Well done! And I'll go ahead and try and chop this fella down as best I can. I'm trying to get the uh, Berserker into position so the Vanguard can start dropping heals on him. But it is uh, a difficult prospect indeed. And everybody up here looks to be out of uh, fury, which is not good. So, all in the turn. Hopefully it's going to be okay. Yeah, that guy is doing 18 damage per hit, which is really not good. But... I think we'll be able to to pull this out, just maybe. Um, we'll go ahead and do the uh, the pokey poke on that guy, and I got an extra fury from that, which is super nice. I could leap um, and maybe get near that big fellow, but uh, instead I'm going to try and rally the spirit because this guy's taking a lot of damage. Uh, let's try and get the kill shot here. Oh yes. That is fucking awesome. So I will uh, go ahead and give that guy a commanding shout. We'll try and finish off this big fellow who is the uh, the boss. Jahargal has died. And that is it, friends. That is uh, Iron Tides. Really, really nice. We had another wave coming in uh, three turns, but it didn't really matter. Did it. There's currently no end to the game. Presumably you'd go on to like the next campaign at this point or the next level of the campaign, but uh, yeah, it be what it be. We got a bunch of mead to go around and finish out the rest of the map, if we were so inclined, but um, yeah, mission accomplished as far as I'm concerned. Don't hesitate to check out the uh, Kickstarter, it has been completed, but I think you can throw some more money at it if you want to get in and uh, get your key or whatever, buy it nice and early. When the uh, store page for Steam pops up, I'll go ahead and throw that in the description so you can check it out for yourself. I've been Brandon Dayton, friends, your humble narrator. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. And if you do, friends, I'll send you a cask of mead of your very own. It'll get you drunk. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, friends, bye-bye. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.